Hello, my name is Martin Edwards. I'm a degree programme director for the Industrial and Commercial Biotechnology Master's programme here at Newcastle University. What we're going to try to do today is to welcome those students who have already decided to join us at Newcastle University, but also maybe answer a few of those questions that have arisen since you've applied. Also, we're going to try to provide an extra insight into life as a student here at Newcastle and also the programmes which we offer within the School of Biology. So it will hopefully help those of you who have not yet decided upon choosing Newcastle to make that choice. The School of Biology has about 26 members of academic staff and each of those has an expertise and teaches across one of the main themes within the school. These are ecology and conservation, plant and microbial sciences, evolution and systematics and the modelling of biological, clinical and environmental systems. Further to this, we also draw upon the expertise of colleagues across the university, as well as our research and industrial collaborators, to supplement and to broaden the student experience that we can offer. The school is fortunate to have some excellent teaching and research laboratories furnished with state-of-the-art equipment. Furthermore, we have access to research field stations that facilitate the study of ecological networks surrounding modern arable and livestock farms. We're situated here in the northeast of England with excellent travel links to the rest of the UK, Europe and further afield. As a civic university we are closely integrated with the city which makes studying at Newcastle a very vibrant and exciting experience whilst allowing you to interact with teaching staff from a Russell Group University that features in the top 200 of most world rankings. During this time, we encourage you to challenge those who teach you and to engage them in discussions relating to your chosen area of study. And we, as lecturers, really enjoy when you talk to us. We enjoy when you challenge our ideas, as it makes our job much more satisfying. So, what can we offer you? Well, within the School of Biology, we have three taught programmes. Uh, we have a Master's in Ecological C Consultancy, in industrial and commercial biotechnology and also a master's in wildlife management. So I'll just give a brief overview of each of these degree programs. The ecological consultancy program will provide you with specialized training and also provide you a radically different approach to problem solving in this rapidly expanding industry. The course is designed to equip graduates with the skills and knowledge to get jobs within this center, sector and the course provides you with training and experience in the range of skills required by the consultants. The Industrial Commercial Biotechnology degree has been specifically developed to provide education in the scientific principles necessary for an understanding of biotechnology with particular emphasis on developing the interface between the biological sciences and industry. The programme uses a modern blended teaching approach with an emphasis on hands-on experience in molecular biology and also the handling of microorganisms and also data analysis. The Wildlife Management programme will provide advanced training in policy and science implementation in the UK. The course has been specifically designed to combine education in the theory, scientific principles and policy aspects of managing wildlife whilst providing training and skills applicable for employment, resulting in a professionally focused postgraduate qualification that is directly relevant to employment in wildlife management or academic sectors. So, to give you a better idea of the student experience in Newcastle, I'm joined here today by two of our current MSA students, Rebecca Pinkham and Long Pao. Both of these will now share some of their experiences with you to help formulate your decision on joining us here at Newcastle. So first of all, would you please both um, explain what degree programme you're on and, and maybe some of the choices that, that um, allowed you to choose Newcastle. Rebecca, would you like to start? Um, so yeah, I'm doing the MSc in Wildlife Management. Um, I did animal behaviour um, at undergraduate level and I thought it was sort of a really neat step up um, into postgraduate education kind of 
narrowing down from what I'd learned um, from undergrad into something that was a lot more um, practical and could lead into a lot more sort of employment opportunities. So. Yes, uh, hello, I'm Long, I'm from China and I'm the, I'm the post student, postgraduate student in industrial and commercial biotechnology. And the reason why I choose this course is because it is not only showing me what the necessary knowledge about from in the book, uh, but also show me the what I can do in both uh, in both biotechnology and the industry. And also, I like the Newcastle University. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So, if we sort of look uh, more closely at uh, the the programs themselves. What, what's the workload like while studying here? Long, could you go? Yes, so actually we have different sessions each day and usually it is about one or two lectures every day and for each lecture it's about one or two hours. It's, it's not very long. But also, also we will have the lab work experiments at the beginning of each semester. It's about six or eight hours every day, and also at the end of our our semester, we will have we will have a we have we will have a we will have a research research project mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah. And is that similar for the wildlife management? Um, fairly similar. So the wildlife management is run in block tours. So we'll have each module is run separate to all of them. They run over sort of a two-week period where all the lectures for that module will be in those two weeks. So it's quite intensive, but it's it's good in that you get to throw yourself into one subject rather mm -hmm. than sort of a lot of undergraduate level where it's you know you've got four sort of modules going on at once. Um, it's quite nice to be able to focus on just the one aspect um, of the course at a time um, so we've got some a lot of guest lecturers come in for wildlife management as well so we tend to have kind of two or three like intense days in a week um, and the rest of the rest of your time you sort of on your independent study but um, obviously because a lot of master's students work alongside it it's it's good in that sort of aspect to be able to you've got a bit of time to play with as well good so uh all of the degree programs that we offer have a, a large section of um, project work involved with them. Um, I know at least uh, the, the two of the degrees have, have a very, very large uh, individual work project towards yeah. the end. And this is something that, that's going to be coming up in the next few months, particularly for the ICB students. Yes. Is this something that you're um, looking forward to? Is it something that attracted you to our degrees? Yeah, definitely. I think um, the chance to do um, sort of a big research project at the end was, was definitely um, definitely a pull um, mm -hmm. for the course. Um, we're doing a lot of the sort of background reading for at the moment, and it, yeah, it's really interesting. And I think the lecturers do give you a lot of scope to make it your own project, mm -hmm. um, rather than sort of giving you a set, sort of very strict line to go on. And, you know, you can you're allowed to run with it, um, make it into what what you'd like to do so yeah it's been it's been really really interesting so far excellent good good so we, we really hope that these projects allow you to develop your own um, practical skills and also help you to formulate this idea of becoming more of a, an independent researcher yes. so taking your own ideas forward and that's excellent to know that it's something that, that you're engaging in at the moment so across the degree programmes, are you a very small class size, um, Rebecca? There's a normally quite yeah, a we've got a very small course. Um, there's only there's six full time and one part time student. So okay. um, a lot of our lectures are more sort of seminar type, um, which is is really good actually. It allows you to get a lot of engagement with the lecturer. Mm -hmm. um, you you get the chance to talk to them really in depth about a lot of stuff. Um, whereas sort of in undergrad, when you've got a lot, quite a lot of people there, it, it can get a little bit lost and you don't quite get um, the chances to go in depth in some of the questions, but mm -hmm. no, it's been really nice. But then we've also got some of our, our modules are sort of in collaboration with other, with other courses, so it's, it's been nice to get sort of a, a bit more of a depth in some of our lectures, um, yeah. sort of um, more of an insight from a lot of other people, so it's been, it's, yeah, it's been really good. And that's something that occurs on the industrial commercial as well, Long, isn't it? Yes, that, that yes. We have a good mixture of our own students, but also towards some of the undergraduate courses as well that we use. Uh, yes, sometimes we will have some big class with other students from other courses, and I think it's a very ex interesting experience because sometimes you can hear the different voice from them, 
and really it can give us some new ideas and some new point of view to improve your understanding better in those modules. Excellent, excellent. And so whilst here at Newcastle, how does the school and, and how does the university help support you in your studies and, and, and basically in your student life, your student experience? Yeah, the, uh, the, the school helps me a lot in both of the studies and uh, my daily life. And for example, if we, I have any problem, I will go to the reception of the student union first because they can solve most of the problems for me and if there is some problems they can't solve, solve, they will tell me who or where I can go to to help me. And also for each student we have our personal tutor and they are very kind and they can get our, any, uh, they can help us a lot in our studies. Yeah, I've, I've, I've felt I've had quite a lot of support from the, the school and the student union as well. Um, when I was applying, um, they were really helpful because I didn't do Newcastle uh, undergraduate. Um, mm -hmm. I sort of contacted them and they were really helpful. I came in for a day and I was shown around, um, shown around the building and sort of got to talk to some of last year's students as well, oh, which, which uh -huh. I, where I found that really useful. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've also I've been doing quite a lot of stuff with the student union this year. I'm really involved in some of the societies. I, I've been in theatre society, which is like yeah, it's it's been really nice to like sort of throw myself back into the university experience. Yes. Um, and yeah, the the school of biology has been really great. You get sort of a lot of information from them. They've yeah, they've been really really helpful. Excellent. And the university as a whole will also support you as a student as well. There are several um, university scholarships that you may be um, eligible to apply for um, and UK students as well will also be able to apply for the, uh, the government postgraduate loan scheme as well. So if we sort of now sort of think about where we might be after um, graduating from our master's degree um, how do you feel that the school has helped you prepare for life after graduation? What things outside of the standard lecture um, have you been able to find out that will, that will aid this? Okay, and for the career service, I want to say our school has a, spe a special department called the Newcastle Plus and they can help you a lot in our career service such as give us some good CV and uh, cabin letters and also we will have different research sem seminars in, in, our, in our studies so we can join them and see what we can do after our graduate. Yeah, we've um, had a lot of uh, careers days during, um, during the time at the moment. Um, I find them really helpful. It's been good. people from outside the university but also within the university because mm -hmm. it's quite, I, I find it really interesting to see um, have some of the lecturers come and talk to us and see how they got into lecturing. Um, that's been really interesting. Um, so also, yeah, the career service has been really helpful as well. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot, of, a lot of the events, which has been really good. Excellent, good. So a lot of our students, um, after studying their master's degree, decide to stay on in education, uh, either through um, a PhD or um, one of the other postgraduate routes. Um, but significant numbers do also enter and employment as well. So if you had to summarise, what would be the, the best uh, things about the course that you chose and also about studying here at Newcastle? What have you most enjoyed so far? Yes, for me, I'm the international student and the study in UK is a very good experience. and. Also, from my courses, biological technology, and what I studied is not only just the knowledge in the book, but also I did a lot of lab works to uh, to, to use those knowledge into into the research. is quite useful and can help in better understanding my knowledges. Okay. Um, the best thing I've actually found it really interesting having people that are already in the industry come and talk to us i found that mm -hmm. like that's that's been really good part of the course like being able to see where people are and like some of the research is really interesting so um and also the fact that newcastle is such a sort of social city i think that's really that's really made it for me as well yes it's, it's a nice place to live mm -hmm. it is yeah. Yeah. 
So although there's no official closing date for your application to the university, you need to take some certain things into consideration. Um, particularly if you're applying from overseas, we do suggest that you get your application in by the end of July, just to allow time for visa applications, etc., to go through. However, if you've received a firm unconditional offer by September the 26th, we will very much like to, uh, to see you here um, during what we call our welcome week, which is our first week of en engagement before we start um, teaching. So we hope you found this. So we hope you found this useful. Um, you'll be able to find much more information on our website, um, and also on the website of the university itself. So I'd just like to say thank you very much to Rebecca and to Long for sharing their experiences with us, um, and we hope to see you very soon in Newcastle.